for us to install Microsoft 365 for free on Mac OS, the first step we have to do is to make sure that we do not have any previous versions of Microsoft Office that are installed. So what you are going to do, first go to your applications and check and see if you don't have any versions. Right now I have, you can say I have Microsoft Excel, OneNote, Outlook. It means that I have a version of Microsoft Office that is currently installed. So before you continue, make sure you first uninstall any previous versions, then you can continue. In case you don't have any, just skip this step of uninstalling and get started with a step for installing Microsoft Office 365. I'll attach the link in the description showing you how to uninstall Microsoft Office from Mac OS. Please check the link in the description in case you want to uninstall your Microsoft Office from your Mac OS. We shall be using uh, Mac OS Ventura, but you can use any Mac OS that you have. When you finish uninstalling Microsoft Office, uh, the first step now we are going to go is go to Safari, open Safari, then go and type in Microsoft 365 Dev Center and hit enter. So you have to come and look for the first link that you are seeing, the first link which says Developer Program Microsoft 365. Open that one. Then when you finish, you are going to come and click on join now. Now, now when you get here, you're supposed to create an account. Okay, you can create using email address, you can use phone number or Skype. So I'll go ahead and create using my email address. Okay, I'll type my email address. Please go ahead and type your email address. Gmail dot okay that is my email address let me confirm then next then you're supposed to create a password for your account that you're creating up then i'll set up my password then i'll come here and choose my date of birth please fill in all that information then i'll say next uh, then they're saying enter the code that has been sent to your email address. Please check your email address and get that code and enter that code. Okay, I'll enter my code. 561006. Then I'll say next. Okay, they bring that. They're saying create your account. Then I'm going to click next. Then I'm supposed to go through this. Okay, I. Okay, our uh, verification is now complete. And then uh, creating our accounts. So after that, okay, my username. Now, okay, now when you finish that, uh, they're going to show you that. Uh, so we are, you can see we have this. This is our what? Our email address we have used, the first name they gave us, and the last name. So you're supposed to come here and select the country or region. So go ahead and look. At, I'll go ahead and select my country or region. So I'm going to come and look for my region or country. So I'll select that one. Then provide your company name. You can use any company name that you want. You prefer. Or you can use your own company name your own company name is also okay then i'll go ahead and accept the terms and conditions the language i'll i'll leave it at english then i'm going to click next then applications to be sold in the market like they're trying to ask you what focus i'll choose personal projects next okay 
then I'm going to come there asking for what areas of Microsoft 365 development are interested in. I'll click Outlook, just click Outlook, or you can even just go for Microsoft Teams. Let us use Microsoft Teams, then I'll click Save. Okay, now we have this page. Now when you reach here, the first thing we are going to do is to make sure that we create our own instant sandbox. Remember, this is a package that they are going to give us. It's a subscription for every 90 days. That's why you see we have 90 days. So they are saying they are renewable 90 days. So after every 90 days, they are going to renew your subscription. Okay, so let us go ahead and create our instant sandbox. Next. So you username, admin username, you can put any name you want. Maybe any name that you want for admin username. Then create a password. The password is supposed to be 15 characters. Okay, so I'll type in my, my password. Please make sure you do not forget your password because we really need this password. So I'll type in again the 15 characters, confirm the password. Okay, then I'll uh, then I'll scroll down, click continue. Now you're supposed to provide your phone number. Okay, provide a phone number that you are going to use. Nine four please enter your your what your phone number okay because they're going to send you a code onto that phone number then i'll click ahead and say send code so i'll enter the code so i'll enter my code which is six five five zero one then i'll click set up okay so now uh, they are setting up our subscription. Uh, you wait maybe for some seconds. Okay, now they're finished. Now, when they finish this, please, sometimes this page is confusing, okay? What you're going to do, we are, we are supposed to set up our subscription. Now we have finished setting up the subscription. So we are supposed to go to the subscription, but we see they are not showing us that page to go to subscription so most of you will have that page some of you are going to have it like me without seeing that subscription so what you're going to do please make sure you scroll up then you see we have dashboard and we have developer program okay so i'm going to click on developer program first then i'll come back to my dashboard you are supposed to be in your dashboard okay so if i click on developer program like this you see then i'll click on join now then I'll come back to my dashboard. You see that? Now I'll end up having this. If you, in, ca in case you, you have this page, it's okay. You can just continue, okay? But in case you do not have this, then you have to first click on the developer program. Then you come back to your dashboard. So when you get to this point, you're going to click and say go to subscription, okay? So I'll click go to subscription. Then they're going to bring for us this. So when they see this, this if you look at this, this is the admin name I created, the admin name, and this is the what? The domain that Microsoft has given me. So you're going to enter the password for the 15 characters that you use, the password with the 15 characters. So please enter that password. And when you finish, also take note, you can write down this email because you're going to need that email or you can save that email somewhere. You can copy it and save because we are going to need this email address. So when you finish, you click sign in. Not now. So they're supposed to authenticate, but you can say ask later, okay? Don't forget you have to authenticate using your application and phone, but you can say later, stay signed in, you can choose yes. Or no if you want okay now when you finish the moment you click sign in they're going to you see they're loading the microsoft 365 home page okay they're saying welcome to microsoft 365 we are so glad you are here so 
just go through this i'll click that next and next and then i'll move on so this is the page you can see create with microsoft 365 okay so my goal is going to be one i'll just click next 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 and next and i'm done so go ahead and click on install apps when you install when you click on install apps you're supposed to click on microsoft 365 apps because we want to download the microsoft 365 so i'll click that then i'm going to say got it you can see that my microsoft has started what downloading see so downloading the setup for microsoft 365 to take like one minute or and so okay so we shall wait for it and we get back when it it is done so if you look closely uh our download has completed okay so we shall go ahead and open up the download installer so we have this uh i'll click continue then i also click uh continue agree then i'm going to click install you can change the location if you want because you require at least 11 or 12 gigabytes of free space then i'll say install then the same preparing let me enter my password then i'll say install software so the process is going to start installing our microsoft 365 okay so i'll pause a little bit then come back in case the installation has finished and then so the installation has been successful okay so what we're going to do we're going to close that yes uh you can move the installer file to the trash in case you want to maybe uh save some space on your hard disk and move to the trash okay so now uh we are done with that so the next thing we're going to go and check our applications and see if they are running maybe what other steps do we have to take okay so we have that okay that so you can go to go to your finder click finder go to applications uh, if you check the applications you can see that we have different microsoft office applications okay we have microsoft defender we have excel we have OneNote, powerpoint so go ahead and open any that you prefer open up powerpoint you can even open microsoft word if you want you can open any program that you want okay so i'm going to open up microsoft powerpoint here it is loading powerpoint now uh, when you finish opening up uh right so they are saying you are all set okay you are now ready to use the benefits then you start you say start using powerpoint you can choose any that you want okay then uh you see we have this the first one here or we have activate okay so you can click on activate when you click on activate they're going to bring for you activate microsoft 365 now you're going to go ahead and click already bought office sign in so when you click on sign in go now that they, you're, you're supposed to sign in using your email address but go back to our safari remember we are supposed to sign in using this click on this account you see microsoft 365 page then click on this account fl we need to sign in using this account the one that they created for us that's an account that we need to use okay so i'll click view account if i click view account okay they'll bring this okay you can say ask later and go and look or let me just copy this okay this is account number the account that we need the email address that we need to use so i'll copy this then i'll come back to my powerpoint and i'll paste that here then i'm going to say next so uh basically you're supposed to use the email address the one that they created for us okay and the password is the one that had 15 characters 
the password you created, the one that had 15 characters, is the same password you are supposed to use. Okay, then I'll click sign in. Then I'll say ask later. Okay, uh, basically uh, that is how we set up our Microsoft 365 free subscription. You can see that checking out for licenses and they're trying to activate. Now that you come and click done. Then you say start using PowerPoint. You can see it is already logged in. Okay. So you can start using your Microsoft PowerPoint, your Microsoft Word. You only need to do this for only any package you choose. Okay. If you want Microsoft Word, Excel, you just have to activate once and it will activate everything. So that is our Microsoft PowerPoint, you can see it is activated fully, everything is working, okay? So uh, thank you for watching our video tutorial. In case you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment section. We shall get back to you. Subscribe and hit that bell notification button for more videos. Thank you and goodbye.